Finally on the program, we bring you this clip showing what the Lagos State Government has put in place in changing the health sector and the medical transformation blueprint for residents. Official commissioning of Lagos State Blood Transition, Agada. The levels of leadership we've had in the last 20 years, there have been people that understand and appreciate that you are in this position to serve and to see how you make tomorrow better than what you've met it today. This laudable project is another effort of the Sawula administration to support businesses, promote economic development and ultimately improve the standard of living of Lagosians. We have about 330 primary health cares and we're still developing them. We're making sure that almost two, three in every ward that we have, we have one, three, four kilometers away, you can turn a bend and get a primary health facility. We have 27 secondary health facilities. We're going to wrap it up to 30. What WHO uh, UNICEF has recommended on, in a year's budget, allocate between 10 to 12% of your total year's budget on health. And we're trying to meet that. is really to be able to have a master plan, not just to build it, we need to be able to also be able to have the requisite skills of professionals working there and be able to continuously train them. We just need to redo this. Exactly. We've embarked on Mr. Governor's blueprint for medical infrastructure transformation, capital projects. When we break that down, we're looking at the environment in which the doctors work, particularly in the infrastructure, the equipment that they work with, the design of the buildings, doctors' quarters, places to rest and relax, comfortable offices, clean water, electricity, nurture and nature of the environment. Greenfield project is a brand new project, so we're going to build on a greenfield. We're aiming at about 50% lower energy utility in all our new hospitals, which is in keeping with the global trend of design, low carbon and climate change. Everybody that's going to use that facility is brought into the design concept. If it's Massey Street, for example, we've spent months engaging with the pediatricians. What do you want? How do you see your new hospital? We have a special project called Art for Life, which as the building is being designed, the artists are coming in to look at the aesthetics of the building. Not a place where you come to and you leave the place with a bad memory in your mind. All our facilities now will have a particular look. So when you see a general hospital moving forward, they, they look the same, they have the same color structure. When you see a primary healthcare facility, you know by its design and by its color. All these facilities will be linked up in what we call the SHIP. The SHIP is the Smart Health Information Platform, which will connect each of these hospitals through digital connectivity. We can use a digital platform to consult with Nigerian doctors abroad or any other specialist to help solve uh, rather complicated cases. The governor is a surveyor by profession and this blueprint is his idea. Capital projects take time but we're hoping to finish quite a few in this dispensation. Those that we can't finish would have reached a stage where the next government will have no problem following through and carrying on with the projects. That's the program for this week and thank you for watching. I'm Ayotunde Balogun. Till next time, please stay safe.